What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a quick mission guide for the Tier 3 Black Moss mission known as Favor for a Friend. Now, before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content anytime or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you show support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go and throw an easy goal of 100 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you just do that subscribe button along to that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so this mission is going to be three parts. Now, note if you guys are going in without anything, it could be a great run to actually go for this, as it doesn't really require a lot, and you could honestly get eliminated while going for this but the main reason is too is that all three of the parts are going to be located in the same general area and all you're going to have to really do here is exfil with them so you don't have a lot on the line especially if you're not going in with a ton of gear so it's definitely one of those missions that if you guys have a bad run and you come back in with nothing it might be the time to go for this one now what you're going to want to do is head over to the Satik caves and you need to go north of it now if you guys actually looked at the description for this mission it asks you to go to the south part and it is actually incorrect because it's going to be on the northern part of the Satik caves now if you guys look directly west from from the hydroelectric area you guys will pretty much see the general area of the buildings. Now, once you guys head to the Satik Caves area and you're just a little bit north, obviously, again, west of Zarkoa Hydroelectric, you guys are going to be looking for this specific house that has a little farm in the backyard. Now, of course, I'll show you the location on the map of where this actually is. All three parts are generally in the same area, so you guys won't have to travel too far to get all three of these. Now, the first part is asking us to find and extract the friend's watch. Now, if you guys are in the front of the house to the right, or if you're looking at the front of the house, I guess, to the left will be a little water reservoir. You guys are going to want to look underneath the tin that kind of surrounds the bottom there. You guys will barely be able to see this. So you guys are going to need to lay down in order to see it. And you guys might have to wiggle around a little bit in order to actually pick it up. But this is where that watch is. You guys are going to want to pick this up. The part two is going to ask us to find and extract the friend's heart necklace. Now, this is going to be the most difficult piece to find out of all three of these. It's actually going to be in the backyard in the little farm area. There's going to be a little stone wall that pretty much follows a little backyard there. You're going to go to the back left corner of the backyard right next to the wall. And there's going to be a bush. You're going to want to look inside of this bush. And that is where you guys will find the heart shaped necklace. Now, the last and final part is asking us to find and extract the friend's photo. Now, this is actually located in the most reasonable spot of all three of these, as it's actually inside of the house. So you guys want to go into the house. If you guys lay down on the ground right next to the bed, you guys will be able to see the photo. But if you guys jump on the bed itself and just look next to the wall there in between the bed and the wall, you guys will be able to pick up this photo. So you guys will pick this up and you guys will have acquired all three of these parts. Now, once you've acquired all three parts, you're going to want to exfil safely. Of course, if you guys have a rescue hostage contract, I'm always going to recommend that you do that as it allows you to slip off the map under the radar. But no matter which way you guys choose to exfil, once you exfil all three pieces of this successfully, you guys will then have completed this mission. Now, it is important to note that I think you guys could exfil different parts in different runs if you choose to. However, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to do so since all three parts are in the general same location. But again, once you guys exfil all three of these, you guys will have completed favor for a friend. That's going to wrap things up for today's quick mission guide. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support on the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.